Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Resurrection Remix version 5.7.4 which is the unofficial version by Black Jubel, so stay tuned for that. So guys, uh, this is right now currently my daily driver because of a few reasons which I will be going through uh, quickly as quickly as I possible. Still, let's get, uh, let's get started with the video now. First of all, what you would see here is the lock screen. Well, I just bypassed lock screen because I am using fingerprint scanner and yes, the fingerprint scanner is working for most part. Now, I am personally using the Nova launcher. There is the stock launcher available which will be all Okay, this is a Cyan Engine mod based ROM with a lot of features taken from other uh, ROMs such as Omni ROM, Slim ROM, uh, EICP, AOSP, you name it. This one has the kitchen sink of features into it. So let's get started on the settings now. In the first option, settings menu. Now, I am using a custom DPI setting of 400 PPI, big, but I have actually cranked up the font size so that you can probably see whatever is going on. In the about font page, you can see this is the uh, black mix. That is the by Black Jubel uh, version 5.7.4 of Resurrection Remix of Marshmallow. The uh, new guide version is not out yet, but I am hoping to get my hands on it soon enough. Uh, there is a security sub uh, patches of September. So that is the latest one which is available for our devices, I guess. So you do have that. Uh, kernel version is Elemental X, but this ROM comes with this kernel as stock which is arguably one of the best kernels available for the oneplus 3 so i am really happy about that rest everything is basically same SLA status is enforcing so you might want to check with your compatibility issues uh let's get started on the settings because there are a lot now again i just want to show you guys that the rom is a marshmallow rom based on science mod 14 rom so most of the stuff which you are expecting there to be having a bug still there but for me personally, it's not much of an issue. One huge thing is that the battery life is not a uh, direct ripoff of a Science Mod 14 ROM because battery life has been really good for me, honestly. Uh, I have been able to get this to almost two days working with uh, the kind of uh, well usage I have. I mean, the end of the first day it was at about 40%. S second day it was just deplay, but. Two days of usage is not common for me personally. That too on a science and mod ROM. On a uh, OnePlus based Oxygen OS ROM, that is kind of possible. If I went low on the uh, gaming and stuff, I still gamed with it and I was able to get about one and a half day to two days worth of battle life and that was amazing and yeah let's get to the features now first of all in the configuration option is where you will find every feature first of all status bar option you do have clock customization left right uh, small hidden date all of these are available color switch is available font can be customized font size can be customized uh, in the battery options in the battery option you do have all uh, these certain options for battery you have icon portrait uh, circle uh, icon landscape all of that with the battery percent inside the icon outside the icon so you do have that so that is really nice to see battery bar can also be enabled if you don't want that icon there so that is also pretty amazing where you can customize the battery color thickness charging color all of that can be customized and that is really really amazing the status bar icons can be customized where you can just disable the zen icons even and this this button does work and uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, that's something which I uh, which I have started using a lot more than before. So yeah, status icon co colors can also be customized. So we can j just disable the gradient, enable custom colors, apply colors for all of these applications. So that is really really amazing. You have a lot of options there. Network traffic indicator can be enabled where you can have outgoing and incoming options there. So that is also pretty s nice to have. Uh, auto hide data in, uh, indicator if there is no network available. Hide the arrows in activity threshold for 10 kbps. Less than 10 kbps it won't even show up. So that's a lot of options than what used to be my daily driver in Moki. So that's really nice. Resurrection logo can be enabled on the left side. On the right side you can have a lot of stuff. Be before the status bar icons a lot of stuff can be customized and that is really really amazing. Show Bluetooth battery status also something if you have peripherals attached to your phone like a Pebble or a uh, smartwatch or even a headphone which is Bluetooth enabled you can actually show the battery percent of your Bluetooth headphone 
on the chat as well, so that is also amazing. I don't have any peripheral which supports that, so I'm not entirely sure if that is working or not. So yeah, just so you guys know. Headset icon can be enabled or disabled. Status bar better temperature can also be enabled or disabled. Brightness control by sliding across the status bar is also pretty amazing. And something which I noticed is that this is much much more smoother than the other implementation so that is something which i really appreciate uh double tap to sleep the uh, super user icon can be enabled or disabled so you can have that uh show 4g instead of lte so that is also something which you can uh breathing notifications is something which is really amazing i really appreciate that i just know, keep it on for sms and missed calls so that is also amazing in the notification drawer setting you have notification header where you can customize the header you can have funds colors header items all of that can be customized and you can customize everything everything i mean everything task manager that is something which i'm really appreciating i really appreciate this sort of task manager because the aosp or the science mod does not have a uh, clear stuff in the background button like the oxygen os has so this is actually really something which i really appreciate enable hello can be uh, customized and you can enable that from here that's headset notification halo is available so you do have the halo option where you have uh, you can just customize everything and that's really nice quick setting panel you do have options for the edge quick setting smart pull down uh, number of quick setting per row and amazed on how many of uh, how many of the customer ops does not have this feature just get that thing running because that is really important so yeah uh quick, uh, quick setting vibration colors disable quick setting on lock screen advanced data tile you can actually have that right now how it is set is that if you uh, if you long press the data file it will go there if you want press that it will go into the uh, advanced tab if you have it enabled that will cause one press of this to just disable the data and long pressing it will go into this one so uh depends on what you want uh, i personally would like to have uh, one press to go into the advanced tile so that's really cool uh theme tile components is also available enable three uh, location uh states in quick settings and last first two row animations can be customized for the quick settings uh really amazing uh that animation is also really cool you can actually have any of these animation for the task manager in the status bar so that's also pretty cool by this time can be enabled or disabled and also by this icon can have the automatic mode here so that is really cool and uh, for someone who uses who switches between the ambient display mode and the uh, manual display mode that is a really cool feature to have and i really appreciate that navigation bar you do have customization for navigation bar settings it does support the flings option where you can uh, do gestures on the navigation bar to have various options so that is really cool if you are someone who uses the navigation bar so that's pretty cool now buttons can be customized where it is the basic uh customization options available with cyanogen mode 14 so it's not much but uh, you do have options for home button recent button and volume buttons where you have the option for keyboard cursor control and playback control which i personally use a lot of times recent menu there are a few op options in the recent menu where you can have memory bar uh clear all button so you can have memory bar you can even customize all the stuff in uh the uh clear all button where you have the styles where you can have the reception lollipop that is this red icon here you can actually customize it to data database minus whatever you have a lot of options there so you do have a lot of customization which is available there also you do have uh, the other sort of uh, recent menu which is slim recent and omni switch and i am a huge fan of omni switch because you have a lot a lot of options in uh, omni switch in the last one option you do have security ui last one ui can be customized with the blur uh, funds all of this can be customized what all is showing show charge current uh, bottom shortcut quick shortcut all of that is available last one gestures can be enabled where you can double tap the lock screen to just put the back put the screen off uh, long stress the power button and the screen is off to turn on the flashlight uh, all of this is available lost in media can be customized with media cover art and display visualizers so that's also really cool to have gestures it does have gesture anywhere one of the, my favorite features in any rom also it has the app circle bar view where you can fling from one side and have a circle of apps so pretty nice to see in the multitasking option you do have multi-window mode but multi-window in uh, marshmallow is not as defined as uh, multi-window in other ROMs such as uh, the nougat series so yeah i personally don't use that if you want to use it do it at your own discretion but i personally won't use that myself floating window is available and you can actually enable that with the gesture anywhere and slim actions opening up any applications in the floating window where, which you can resize and uh, put anywhere on the screen that is actually a very good feature to have and that is something which i really appreciate pie controls is available and this is in my opinion the pa style pie 
uh, or the slim pie. I'm sorry, it's the slim pie. So you do have uh, all the stuff which is available here. So that's really cool to have. In the miscellaneous option, you do have a select switch option where you can actually change it to uh, permissive. If some applications do require you to change it to permissive, you do have that options. Uh, I personally like it in enforcing, but hey, that's a option there. Dashboard styles can be customized where you saw the settings menu in two columns rather than one single column. So you do have that option. And I personally like the two column option with the div dividers and with the title view. So that's really cool. You do have the customization options available for you. Blur is something which is available where you can change most of the stuff to a blur where you have expanded status bar, notification shade, uh, status bar header and you can actually customize the transparency, transparency uh, level also where you which gives you a lot of granular control. Those power save is there where you can actually enter the device into a really really huge power save mode where when the phone just sleeps. Uh, refuses to wake up and uh, yeah that's not something which i would like personally as a creative standpoint but uh, that is available if you are planning to uh, use the device for more than just two days uh, without a socket so yeah available there weather options is available and you do have options for that from the c, c clock widget so you do have that fingerprint allocation vibration ad blocker is enabled but i personally use min min locker so min min guard for ad blocking so i just disable that ray clock blocker and system app remover is available but do thread with caution in that because that can cause your system instability so yeah in the advanced option you can actually enable or disable the camera shutter sound uh, screenshot sound safe headset volume uh, limiter and less frequent notification sound which is amazing uh, because you do get a few applications which just wants to show you shower you with notifications so that's really a great option for that in the performance standpoint it it does it uses the uh, kernel auditor application and it is available in build and that works out really well and i personally do use that in a lot to uh enter uh well cpu power save mode where you just, i just disable core so that is also available and you can get creative with that so that is it in the personalization options on this rom now being a cm13 rom you do have see theme chooser and that is a new kind of theme chooser where you can customize the theme for many of the applications so that is really cool and all um i'm using this theme right now which is blue gray with a few dashes of a custom theme which is XOUI Frost so um, there are a lot of stuff which I really really like to uh, try out so that makes it easy for me to try this out with the theme chooser so that's really cool it does come with audio effects you do have that available but I personally do not find any use of audio effects on this device because I never actually got the equalizer to work correctly so yeah in the display settings as I've already said you does have the live display option being a Samsung Mod 40, 13 ROM uh, double tap to wake prevent accidental wake up with the screen the finger Print scanner is still not supported with the prevent accidental wake up proximity sensor so that is something which i really uh, wish they would address uh, ambient display advanced dose option that is also a really cool option and i really really appreciate customizing the dose options in here so that's really cool the lcd density can be customized Font size can be customized and i have that on the huge option here so that you can see better i normally keep it all the way down so you do have that battery fully charged notification can be enabled battery light notification light can be customized that's really cool uh, ambient display customization is available where you can enable the pickup always enable hand wave and pocket modes which is pretty amazing gestures are available where you can customize all of these working so that is amazing um, apps and all of that most of the other stuff is basically what you would expect out of any other Samsung mod ROM and uh, there is nothing special about it but Again, these are something which is really, really useful and the customization options, it has a ton of customization options, which I really, really appreciate. So, yeah. Now, another thing about this ROM, which is special is that it comes factory installed with the, uh, the Oxygen OS frameworks for this ROM. So you do get the Oxygen OS frameworks. You just have to install the base version. So I have already installed that. Personally, I didn't really find anything different in this. There are still force close issues and um, this is not something which I will be using a lot. Image quality also is something which you would get the same way as a uh, Sanjay Mod camera. So I personally won't be using this as in any of my usage. Now 4K video is supported and that is something which I see many people will be using and uh, I actually do appreciate that. I am using this as my daily driver so you will see all the applications which I personally use in this so that is something which I really appreciate about this. This have been really really stable for me. I didn't really get any force close issues other than the camera stuff which is well 
it is still there. I personally am not a huge fan of the OnePlus's camera option apart from the slow motion thing. But even with the OnePlus port of uh, the camera port from Oxygen OS, the slow motion doesn't really work as it is supposed to be. The camera quality otherwise is just amazing. I really appreciate the camera in this one. It does work out. So here is the entity benchmark score which I received with this ROM which is about 147,000 and uh, that is a respectable score and uh, more respectable if you see that I have enabled almost every feature available in this ROM. I have cranked up everything. I mean, all the features, weather updates, everything is working in the background. Still, I get about 147,000 score, which is pretty hard to get with all these features enabled so that is something which i really really appreciate and uh well I, I don't know how these guys are doing it it is using the uber tc toolchain control so i'm not entirely sure if that's the reason but it is really amazing to see this apart from that there isn't much uh i want to talk about uh the uh, the boot animation is something which you would have already seen the resurrection remix boot animation the stock one which is available with uh, most of the stuff so here is the boot animation for uh, resurrection remix which is uh pretty cool it just reminds me of Transformium from uh, the, uh, the the Transformers movie, but it's all cool. It's really, really nice, and uh, I really appreciate that. So I guess that much is it about this ROM right now, and uh, how this ROM has turned out to me. I didn't really expect this to be my daily driver for how much it has been now, because, I mean, most of the feature-rich ROMs do tend to drain out the battery, and the performance isn't really there yet, uh, but... I mean, Resurrection Remix has had a really good following for a long time now, and I'm really, really seeing why that is, because this is a really great ROM uh, for most people. I will be trying out the official version also soon enough so that I can just compare between the, between the two. The last time I did uh, Resurrection Remix, it wasn't as hot. It was really cool ROM. It had a lot of features, great performance, pretty good battery life, but it was not like this one, which is really, really blowing me off. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.